Hello, Omar. My name's Ben. Do you mind if I examine you? No. He exposed the lower limbs as much as possible with regard to the patient's comfort and dignity. Look for any asymmetry, both proximally and distally. Note any deformities. Examine specifically for wasting or hypertrophy, fasciculation and involuntary movement. Sometimes fasciculation is elicited by flicking the skin over a wasted muscle. Just want you to let your legs go floppy. Here we examine the tone in the lower limb, first by rolling it or rotating it from side to side, then by briskly lifting the knee to a flexed position. In pathology, tone can be both increased or decreased, and there are various patterns of increased tone, such as spasticity and rigidity. Just relax again. Test for clonus at the knee joint with the patient relaxed and the knee extended. With the thumb and forefinger, sharply push the patella towards the foot. Clonus is a rhythmic series of contractions evoked by a sudden stretch of the muscle. A few beats of clonus is normal in healthy individuals. To elicit ankle clonus, support the patient's leg with both the knee and ankle resting at 90 degrees. Briskly dorsiflex and evert the foot, sustaining the pressure. Next, we test the deep tendon reflexes in the lower limb, starting with the knee jerk. Just let the leg go floppy over my arm. The patient should be relaxed and comfortable. Anxiety or pain can increase the response. For this reason, we test the reflexes after tone, but before power in the motor examination sequence. The knee jerk tests the L3 and L4 nerve roots, and we compare sides. This time I want you to clasp your hands together. Grip when I say grip, but not before. Use reinforcement whenever a reflex appears to be absent. Grip. When testing the lower limb reflexes, ask the patient to interlock the fingers and pull one hand against the other. Grip. This is called the Gendrasic maneuver, and the patient should relax between repeated attempts. Here we test the ankle jerk reflex using the S1 nerve root. This is a method to use with a recumbent patient. Eliciting and judging tendon reflexes will benefit from practice. Next, we test a superficial reflex, the plantar response. Run a blunt object along the lateral border of the sole of the foot towards the little toe. It's going to run this stick up the sole of your foot. The normal response is flexion of the great toe and of the other toes too. Ensure that the patient is relaxed before checking all reflexes. Next, we test power systematically in the muscle groups of the lower limb. Now lift your right leg straight up off the bed. This shows the ability of Back hip flexors and knee extensors to overcome the gravity. The left leg. We use the MRC scale again. from 0 to 6 to grade power. And push up into my hand as hard as you can. Test the same groups in isometric contraction against resistance. And the same on the left side. Push up. The hip flexors. And relax. And the knee extensors. Now keep your legs straight as I try to bend it. Again, it is important to compare sides. Remember that strength can vary greatly with age and occupation. And same on the left side. Try to keep it straight. Now bend the leg up. And try to pull your heel towards your bottom as hard as you can. Testing power in the knee flexors. Relax. Make sure that wherever possible, you use the same hand, posture and mechanical advantage to apply the force in order to make valid comparison. Now point your toes up towards the ceiling and hold them there as I try to push them down. Testing the ankle dorsiflexors and toe extensors. And don't let me push them towards Testing you. plantar flexion at the ankle and toe flexion. Take care that you don't hurt the patient by inadvertently leaning on them or squeezing them with your other hand. Now I want you to run your heel down your shin like this. This is a test of muscular coordination called the heel-shin test. It is abnormal if the heel wavers away from the line of the shin due to cerebellar ataxia. Lastly, the abdominal reflexes. Just pull your vest up for me, please. Just going to run a stick across. Use an orange stick and stroke gently but briskly in a medial direction across each quadrant of the abdomen. 
the normal response is contraction of the underlying muscle with movement of the umbilicus.